all right everybody welcome to google chrome extension development tutorial this is mehul from codedam.com and in this tutorial what we'll be learning is we'll be learning about chrome.dabs.execute script api now many times what you would like is when you're working on real extensions and inside background.js you would like to execute a javascript code on your real users page so for example you are working with some critical chrome apis in your background.js and you are like oh i need to execute this script on the main page to change the background color of the user or i need to display a pop-up to the user now what you would do now we have an api called chrome.tabs.execute script which would come to your rescue now this API would allow you to execute a bunch of JavaScript code or a whole JavaScript file at once in any of your tab in the active window. So for example you could run the JavaScript in this tab, this tab, this tab, this tab or in the active one. Okay so this API would as usual accept two arguments the first one being tab ID and the second one being the options the tab ID obviously is the ID of the tab but in most cases we would like it to run on the current window so we pass it as null because this argument if passed as null would default fall back to the current tab only and inside the options is where the magic happens so inside here we have like code now here you can type code as let's say um, console.log wow this actually works alright so this is our code simple enough now let's go to the browser let's reload our extension and make sure that you open the inspect element of the page not of your background script inspect views so you see that I have opened this page uh, inspect element of the Chrome extensions page or let's visit google.com so you see that I've ex opened the ex inspect element of this page right here and uh, not of the background script now whenever I will click this icon you see okay now that's not mine well okay let me check okay so we are missing some permissions now here you can either write all URLs or if your extension is specifically made to work with the current tab only you can specify active tab as the permissions which I would do in this case let's reload this again and when I'll click this you see that I got console logged as wow this actually works inside the main screen so if I do like document dot body dot style dot background is equal to r red oh oh yeah there should be no semicolon here okay so let's reload this click here okay so you see that we got a very ugly Google page and if you like I could change it to green and then we can test it again looks much better so that's how you work with chrome.tabs.execute script and in the next tutorial I'll be showing you how to execute a lot of JavaScript code at once without typing that inside this ugly quotes so that's it for this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and obviously thank you for watching.